So it's 2014, it's a new year, and with the new year, people tend to make new resolutions. Usually things that have gotten away from them, such as their weight or their exercise. But a lot of times people also make resolutions around something we might not be thinking about, such as our drinking. Like, I'll make a rule around, I'm not going to drink more than two glasses of wine at night. Or maybe they're making a rule around, I'm only going to drink on the weekends or not by myself. So these are the resolutions and rulemaking that people often do when they're questioning if they have an issue with alcohol, but they're also not posting this all over Facebook and they're not blogging about it and sharing it on Twitter around, hey, I think I might have a drinking problem, so my resolution is going to be I'm going to drink less. Usually they say, well, I want to be healthier. Um, and not saying that everyone who says they want to be healthier is also secretly saying they have a drinking problem. I'm not saying that, so don't send me any angry tweets. But what I am saying is when we start looking at making these resolutions or making rules around our drinking, you know, it, it's not the first time that we've probably questioned our drinking. So we also know that most resolutions, we really stick with them for probably a good solid two weeks. So we're going to go to the gym every day. We're going to eat healthy for maybe a week, two at the tops. So what happens when the resolutions and the rules around I'm going to control my drinking or I'm you know, only going to have X amount of drinks at dinner or only drink on the weekends or not drink alone, what happens when we start kind of slipping up? What happens when we have that third glass of wine at dinner because it's Friday night or well, my husband's not home so um, you know, I can't wait for him to get home. He's on a business trip. Why can't I drink? You know, again, are we sharing our, our mishaps and the slip-ups on Facebook and Twitter and blogging about that? Probably not. So I guess I'm putting this out there that if you know someone, or maybe it's you watching this, and you've gone through this a few times around making rules around our drinking, maybe it's time to talk to someone, like a professional, not your girlfriends who maybe have heard this, you know, or have you been kind of downplaying the, the rulemaking and the resolution breaking yourself? Well, maybe it's not really that bad, or why did I come up with that silly resolution anyway? But it's something serious to consider, all jokes aside. When we're making rules around how much we're drinking or trying to control our drinking, and we make it a little bit, and then we start slipping back into our old patterns or ways because, I don't know, you know, something stressed you out, or you got a promotion at work, or you got a demotion at work, or, or work is stressing you out, or houses, or whatever is stressing you out or whatever the reason may be, I guess that's my point. What's the reason that's causing the slip up in the rules and the resolutions? And again, maybe it's time to talk to a professional, someone who's non-judgmental that can help you kind of vet out any of these feelings that you're having and see if you need additional help. So happy new year and good luck with your resolution.